Uh, yeah, you know, that one stands out. I think it was a bad base running move on, on Rod's part right there to, to even make it that close. Um, but that second base made a nice play up the middle to save a run, uh, which was huge for them. And yeah, they're a steady team. They've been like that all year, even at their spot. Um, we've seen how good their defense can be, and they showed it again today. What, what do you, how do you assess Jay Pinks um, today? With six innings, I think, matching the longest he's, he's going all year. Yeah, very good. You know, that's kind of what we, we look to him every single day we go out there and um, very composed. Um, fastball looked good, curveball, even his changeup. We're having him throw his changeup a little bit more now to try to solidify a third pitch for him, and he threw it today and uh, had some good results with it, so it was, it was good to see with Nixon. Um, what are you telling your team after a close close loss like this, you know, uh, coming towards the end, end of the season? Um, you know, we, we put ourselves in good positions pretty much every game. Um, this, this happened more times than not that we come in the eighth, ninth inning and, and things like this are happening. At least we give ourselves an opportunity. Um, we just have to bear down and, and take care of the little things. You know, like I said, base running mistakes kind of cost us right there. Um, and just little things as well. So um, take care of those little details and hopefully we're in the same position later on. Last question then, you had mentioned uh, to Justin Cohn the other day that August is kind of a grinding a grinding month. Um, you anticipate giving guys a little bit more time off of some of your regular everyday players um, to try to rejuvenate them, or, or what can you do to combat the, I know it's, it's hotter, it's the end of the season, but what can you do to keep them fresh? We try to keep them off the field a little bit more than usual. You know, like we've uh, cut back on BP on the field, just staying out of the humid, uh, humidity and the heat and everything like that. And um, yeah, like I, I watch them, I talk to them every single day and see how they're feeling. Um, some of them need to still play, you know, some of them still need to go through August and experience what the grind yeah. feels like. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, I'll be rotating some of them through now, now that we have another uh, healthy backup in Redmond now, like Austin might get a, a few more days off just to save his legs. Um, PD and, and her own in the middle are going to probably need a day off here or there. Um, but for the most part, they're, they're feeling good right now. You know, they're tired just like everybody else, and they have to experience it for later on in their future. Uh, one, one last question. Uh, I'm Anderson Espinos. I forgot. How, do you, how pleased are you with what you've seen from him so far, and uh, what would you like to see from him however many starts he has left? Um, SP's been good. You know, he, he had a, a little bit of a rough start to start off the, his outing here or his, uh, his Fort Wayne debut. Um, but 18-year-old kid with that type of prospect status and everything, um, you can see why he's in that in that elite group. Um, but he's done a good job. You know, we want to see him kind of control and command the fastball maybe a little bit better just to get it down in the zone because he kind of lives up a little bit too much. Um, but he has the velocity right now to get away with it. But as you go up in the levels, he's going to experience better hitters and they'll be able to take advantage of that. So you want to see him kind of command the fastball a little bit better and, and get those secondary pitches working so that they can kind of uh, work off that other fastball.